I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Hi, for today's video, I will be showing you all my last minute project. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional artist but I consider myself a growing artist. So this project is all about I will design any form of a bottle. I chose that kind of shape of the bottle and to be honest, that bottle is where I put my savings. Of course, no coins. I have a lot of ideas in my head but I'm also aware that it is quite common. After long hours of thinking about designs, I finally made up my mind that I should paint what my heart converses. I want to paint the digital art I made last October 6. It is Pinterest inspired and a photo reference from Pinterest. When George Floyd died on May 25, 2020, it made me sad. So sad that I even spent my entire time in the middle of May to sign any petitions about the Black Lives Matter. That's when the contents of my art start to reflect what I want to convey to the world. The first digital art I made about the Black Lives Matter is titled Women of Color. If you have not seen or you saw it, well, I posted it on my social media accounts and the moment people start to appreciate my artwork, some even shared it, my sensitive ass starts to awake. So I deleted it and I fixed my focus to persist in signing petitions. I know there's a reaction to why I deleted it. Fact about me. If you are that person who knew me for years and always there through thick and thin, you know how shy I am in every way. I'm not good at communicating, I'm not that showy or verbal. People saw me performing on stage, but do you see me that I dance alone? Anything I did, those other people can remember. It's rare, and to gather all of that, that only means my self-esteem is not consistent at all. There's a reason why I'm like this, something too personal that I cannot say to everyone because I'm not ready to share some of my stories that only a few people know. Anyway, I deleted it. After all, I'm starting to be so shy when I received a lot of hearts from other people. There's unsaid regret because I also thought that moment that it's okay to keep my artwork and not show it to anyone. I'm good at hiding drawings, poems, or letters where it is mostly filled with the genuine part of me. But I cannot stay there always because I have dreams to become what God wants me to be. I did a lot of self-talk, healthy self-talk. Little by little, it becomes easier to kill the morose concepts. I'm still shy until now. Don't expect too much about me because we are all a construction work undone and then there comes hope my favorite word every day is a second chance we are a different person each day 
change is the only consistent in this world so always choose to change for good in the early stage of the pandemic i did a lot of activities i low-key engaged myself in different communities where there are many different kinds of artists I know wherever you put yourself in any set of organizations, there will always be good and bad people, but it's up to us. I saw this quote because I love to read randomly on the internet. It says, you're free to do whatever you want, but you should always take responsibility for the consequences of your choices in life. So why am I saying this? Because if you want to pursue that particular dream, you have to think carefully about what kind of person you want to be. I want to be an artist who is not hungry for the number of likes or how countless people will like my work. The downside of being an artist, I tweet this on June 16, 2020, no matter how good your artwork is, not all people will appreciate your work. Even if you put your all on that masterpiece, people always have a lot to say. It doesn't matter how many people will like your art. The core of your work is your honesty in expressing who you are as a growing artist. When I slowly have the confidence to go out of my comfort zone, I also want to say thank you to our creator. I cannot do this alone without him. I asked for strength because in our current world today, many want the temporary things in life. It could be money, fame, or popularity. I don't crave the instantaneous things or feelings in my life anymore. What matters to me now is I want to let God fix me or guide me in this uneasy journey. As I said, we are always construction work undone. I still feel the negativity that I feed in my head sometimes, but the moment when you start to appreciate yourself, I think that's love. It doesn't hurt anymore when other people cannot understand my art at all. I love what I'm doing, whatever sort of art style I make or I made, it could be detailed or not, I increase my appreciation to almost everything. There is no right and wrong in art. Art is chaos, taking shape. I do procrastinate sometimes and not consistent at all. I saw artwork from the group I joined, a calligraphy type of art by Valerie, which states, having fewer art materials isn't an excuse to not creating art. I'm like, wow, I feel so attacked by that art because it's easy to feel small when you don't have the things that you should have. I struggle with that thought each day because I have a low support system, but in that group, I surround myself with some artists that only have a normal pen and paper, but their art speaks for themselves. So that hits me so hard because the more you think about what you lack, the lazier you become. Here is the final painting and if I have the remaining time, I'll add some decorations, but if not, I'm proud of my work.